Hello everyone and welcome back to Inscription. This is episode 9. Last time we entered the world of PO3 as we defeated the four scribes and the game has taken on a new shape once more. This corrupted floppy disk of Inscription continues to surprise um, and we're in a very similar sort of um, situation to the beginning of the game but with some changes. We're now going through the map and we've got waypoints um, and new cards and PO3s in control and uh, we're just going to pick up where we left off and uh, continue to roam through this place, um, win some games, get some cool cards, figure out how to win. We're in, we're in Bottopia um, at the moment and um, we're exploring different regions of Bottopia. Let's have a match here just to get back into the swing of things um, and see see how we go. Let's see, let's, uh, let's have a look here. We've got, okay. We've got old hedgehog coming in. And it's going to transform. Explode bot would be nice, but and that will also get rid of my two ancient trees. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is we will put down our empty vessel just to protect against an attack for the first round. And then next round, Explode Bot will go in. Play it nice and slow. There we go. It is transformed. We now have the Gift Bot. All right, so we've got Bolt Hound coming in next. Uh, I still think it's worth doing our explode bot tactic here. So we're going to get rid of this vessel. Ha! Then explode bot away. That'll that'll go swimmingly. Um, and then we end our turn. So we will suffer two damage on the scales. Unless. Unless. Should we use our... We should use our items. They're there to be used. This will replenish our energy and allow us to put down the gift bot. It can withstand the attack and then we'll get a random card. All right, let's fucking do that. Let's do that. Put the gift bot down. So when the bolt hound comes in, it'll die. Nice. I've got an energy bot. And now we've got Sonya coming in, and this is perfect because Sonya will get killed immediately by my sentry. So we're going to sentry drone that. No, we're not. No, we are not. <clears throat> Why do I forget about the bolt hound's ability? All right. Well, at the very least, this locks this in place until I decide to place something else down. Um, God damn it. All right, well, fuck. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to let that turn go. go. I'm going to let that turn go. We're just going to let that happen. Because um, that was a silly little move. Oh, sniper bot. Great. Okay. I can place down. All right, this, will, this should be nice. I can place down energy bot. Nice, and then I have enough for sniper bot. Sniper bot's gonna hide behind a tree, so bolt hound cannot move. Um, and S sniper bot will shoot the bolt hound. And then Sonya's gonna come in and do one damage, which is fine. All right, we get bolt hound out of here. Okay. And now Grizz can be played out of the deck, into the hand. We have the Lonely Wizbot, which will also be a Transformer. Not sure what that transformation is going to be like, um, but we'll see. Sniperbot's going to kill Sonya. 
Shield block can't even move because of the tree. Grizz. I actually think instead of summoning Grizz right now, we're going to do Sonya and the Lonely Wizbot together. Um, putting S Sonya here means we would die, so we're not going to do that. Putting either of them in front of the hedgehog means they would die, actually. All right, we're gonna put a wizard here to maybe get rid of this tree. And then we'll see, I wanna see what this transformation does. And then Sonya is gonna go here. That's what we're doing. Okay. Grizz can be next turn. Oh, yeah, my sniper bot took the... Oh, yeah. Sniper bot takes the porcupine damage. That's why it was getting destroyed, wasn't it? For some reason, I only thought if it was, like, adjacent. Oh, that's... That's silly. That's why I was, I've been losing those sniper bots, silly me. All right, we've got double gunner. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, you can go there instead. We'll do double gunner and then... Time to make our comeback. It's comeback time, baby. And we should be able to win uh, before the... Be able to win before that exploit bot comes in. Let's do some. There you go. Yeah. Do some overwhelming damage. There you go. Get some money. Lovely. It's funny how certain things can like um, totally go over your head when you're not paying like crucial attention to certain sigils and cards and you go wait where's my cards gone and then you realize an episode or two later you know that it's like oh it was this that was happening so like we were doing our snipers and i was like hell yeah look at them go and i'm like wait where are my snipers gone and it makes so much sense that we were sniping the ones that had that um porcupine uh sigil but in my brain i was like it's only if it's right in front of it, right? You know? But no. Alright, let's see how we go. Now, this one places exploit bots on all empty spaces, so that's pretty sweet for a, a an absolute last resort. Um, we don't have anything that we can put really put down here except the empty vessel. But I'm going to save it because Grizz is going to come in with zero... Anyway, it's not going to transform immediately. And I might need to defend against something else. Okay, it's coming in. Goddamn four and four. So it's going to do four damage unless I block it. I'll probably just block it with the vessel. Okay, this is good. So I can sentry drone Sonya as soon as it comes in. And then we we will just protect against the Grizzly's attack. Maybe I'll pull an exploder bot. Or maybe I'll just have to do my bomb thing, but we'll see. Okay. It's a shame that Exploder Bot is not gonna be next to Grizz. I don't think I will need to bomb my entire field just for this Grizz just yet. Oh, it's either I take the risk with a gift bot to see what card I'm going to get when it survives or... Hmm. Alright, we're going to put Sniper Bot in. 
And we're gonna have Sniper Bot attack the Grizz. Okay. We're now going to. This is a pain. Um, all right, we're gonna have shield bot. Yeah, we're gonna have shield bot against the Grizz for its next turn, and we're gonna have sniper bot take out the explodey boy. So you can stop doing damage to me. Okay. And second sniper bot is good with me because we can take out the Grizz, but there's just another one. God damn it. Okay. Let's do... Oh, the pain, the pain. Um... Hmm. Shieldbot and Sniperbot will kill that Grizz next turn. I'm gonna do that for an attack. It begins. Sniperbot's gone. Grizzly is transformed. Oh, perfect. Um, I will. Ooh. Look, it's to get rid of the Grizz. I think it's worth it to get rid of the Grizz. So we're going to put an Explode Bot there. And we're going to use the hammer to get rid of Sentry Drones. It's taking up space. And we're going to put the Sniper Bot there. So it can take out Shield Bot or at least work on it because I think it will survive that one hit. We're going to lose this bad boy, unfortunately, but it is the price of business. Okay. Of course they're dropping in another exploder bot, because of course they are. Okay. Oh, fishy boys here. Okay, let's see. Sniper bot can take out one shield bot. Sniper bot's days are numbered. Alright, we're gonna put fish bot. Yeah. I am fish. And then we're gonna put gift bot. Yeah. And we're going to destroy a gift bot. Okay, sure. Interesting. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Sentry drone goes here. I mean, we should win, maybe? No, I don't think we'll win. Um, no, actually, yeah, we should win. We should win. Nope, not yet. But we win now. <laughs> okay, there you go. Perfect. Aha! How good's that? Double gun is so good against a exploder bot because you're like, bah, bah, and then you just die to the exploder bot next turn. There you go. Overwhelming damage. Lovely. Give me that cash. Money, please. Pier 3 is mad. I have no idea where we are on the map, but we're just, we're just heading, we're just going up. The destination is up. Oh, I think these are the items that we lost. Yes! We found the items that we lost from our death last time. Awesome. We remembered how to get there. 
definitely um, had that. that. That was definitely intentional. We were, we were looking for it. Uh, this is where we died last time, wasn't it? Let's go again. Let's try and not die where we were before. Let's see how we go. Fish. All right. Um, a match where we get a sentry drone first up is always good because I love being able to just wipe out the one defense creatures. Alas, did not work out for us. Um, so we're going to defend against it. Oh, it's a flying creature. God damn it. Of course it is. Of course it is. Silly brain of mine. You knew that. Silly brain of yours. Okay, well... That's just a waste of time then, isn't it? Okay. That was a silly move. Should have just, uh... Yeah. Dumb. I'm not going to put the exploder bot down yet. So. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Ooh, the Amoebot. Good timing to block a flying one, I guess. Um, and an exploder. Okay. I hear. Okay. Hmm. I'm just trying to think about this one. <clears throat> I think I want to put the shield bot against this. Oh, I also think I'm making the wrong move there. If I put... I'm going to do this. Um... I died in exactly the same place again. I don't know what it is about that one particular match, but I, I did not, I also didn't draw a good hand, but I know that there was probably better plays to put in there. Oh, I was just, that was just, uh... misplays, baby. All right, misplays. Um, let's, uh, let's go back. Because we know how to get there this time. Let's just do that again. Let's get our money back. That's okay. That's possible. I think this is the way. Yes. All right. We got our. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> All right. This. This one. We keep dying in this one. I think we're gonna we're gonna go somewhere else. I've died twice. You know, fool me once, right? Fool me twice, though. We'll come back to that one. Let's go, let's go somewhere else. Ah, uh, that resets everything. Let's go this way. I don't know what this symbol means. Oh, it's a boss battle. Okay. Oh no, you came at a just the wrong time. What is going on here? The generator is about to explode or something. You have to recharge it before that happens. Oh God. It's a race against the clock. You'll see. Oh, God. Fresh fish. So much to see. Oh, a sniper and me, but let's go. Uh, okay. A creature opposing this card gains one power. Jesus. All right. Well, pressure's on then. Um... That means my empty vessel gains one power. 
but I think we can do better than that. Um, I've only got one power at the moment, so we're going to... Oh, fuck it. If it gains one power, we meta... What is it? Annoy FM. Let's leave it, actually. When my face says zero, you lose. I hate... I hate it. Alright. You even playing cards? What's going on here? Okay. Oh god, okay. So I shouldn't even be focusing on those? Am I gonna be able to do this in time? I'm I'm stressed the fuck out. Alright, I have to charge this thing. Uh, I've only got three turns, you're running out of time. Why have I done this to myself? God, I need double gunner so bad. I should be able to do this. I should be able to do this next turn. It's okay. I got this. Come on! Fuck! Wow, great. <laughs> Those, like, little fourth wall break moments with the player. <laughs> you recharged it before it exploded. If I could clap for you, I would. Jesus. That was so stressful. For no reason. Choose a card. Okay. Um, Alright, we're in another one of these situations. Let's see. What can we do here that's better? We could do something cool with our... Hmm... Hmm. Sonya. And then we can give Sonya... Ooh, Sonya being able to survive um, a hit would be great, considering the, the one health. Who else would be really good at surviving that one hit, actually? Um, you know what? It might be really good for our sniper. I actually think we should do it. Th We're going to give the sniper bot the protection because that way we can snipe the hedgehogs and survive. At least for one turn. We should go find a shop and buy something. Nice. That resets everything. But that's also how we get to the shop, isn't it? Um, let's head back. The bots in this area will definitely respawn. Yes. We're heading back. Um, so we've gone up. We've, we're in Eastern Botovia. We've gone up there. We haven't gone down here. We haven't gone to any of these places yet. Um, so we haven't gone down this way. If we go back here... The shop is down this way, right? There's a shop around here somewhere. Yes, this is the center. All right, so we've got 36. We can now buy these. I don't, okay, okay so I guess we can determine that this is a pelt. This is the option to do that thing again. We need a card. I have no idea what this is. No idea what this is. Like, it looks like it could be like a waypoint or something like that, but there's no description. I can't even right click. But I can assume this is a pelt because we've had a bear trap pop up before. 
do we just spend 26 or 36 bucks? What is it? I don't even know what it is, but we're getting it. Gives nano armor to your bots on the board. Decent. Oh, it's a new item. Oh, cool. Worth. All right. Great. And give me a new card. Another double gunner. Um, I don't think another double, as tempting as it is, I think we're okay. Um, we're going to get another shield bot. Okay. Another item. Uh, nano armor seems very nice. That's cool. Another new card. And <sighs> another double gunner. Once a card brings the signature struck, draw a card from the empty vessel pile. Once it's struck. That's nice. We're just throwing down the defense. But also another gift bot. Another gift bot, please. Money. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's this person that restored the bridge. Woof. Sorry, turn back. This bridge is totally busted. Go back. I'll need time. Beat a boss? That should give me enough time. We haven't even come up across a boss yet. I was like, oh, cool boss battle against that uh, thing, but it was just a like a mini game almost. Oh, yep, still broken. No fixing this thing for a while. God, it's the same. All right, so we haven't even found a boss. That makes it even worse. Which is probably why the whisk that we keep dying on that one, on that one particular fight is it's pr that's probably the one that's preventing us from getting to the boss. Um, so let's let's go there, I suppose. Okay, this is where we keep dying. <laughs> This is where we keep dying. Are we ready to potentially die again? RNG be with us. Let's draw a good hand, shall we? Alright, let's see. What are we starting with? We got Sonya straight away. The best the best wet thing to start with sometimes is that sentry drone. Because I can just end that immediately. I don't even have to think about it. Um, the unfortunate thing is it's going to fly and it's going to go right over anything I put down. So I just have to suffer that two damage immediately. Annoying. Sentry drone would have canceled that out immediately. Okay. Painful. We find ourselves in another situation like this. Oh my god. Um, we find ourselves in another situation where we can't put down a card that does damage. Interesting. I won't be able to play that for such a long time, but thanks. I'm almost considering just throwing down the bomb straight away and just getting rid of everything, but I might wait until that Sonya comes in. I'm, I'm literally going to lose again, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose again. I don't know what it is about this particular matchup that I just am terrible with. Well, I'm putting in the bombs. Blow everything up. Blow it all up. Oh my god, no. Thought you'd seen the last of Hobbs crash, did you? Think again. I'm on my final... I'm on my final thing. 
We're not in a good, we're not in a good place at all. Because Hobbs is going to come in and, and completely mess me up. This is not a good time. Um, okay. Um, let's see how we go. I'm going to do this so we can survive Hobbs' crash attack. And we're going to snipe and kill Sonya. Oh my god. Okay. Another explode bot and Sonya. I need I just need to do some damage to tip the scales. Oh, I need five for that. I'm gonna I will I lose <laughs> I lose next turn oh my god because that's just gonna fly and do two damage right over the top of me I just don't pull the cards that I want to in this matchup unfortunately Double Gunner would be perfect right now, but I am just not there. <sighs> if I put a card down in front of it, it's just going to take damage already. take two damage and I'll and I lose from this fucking Sonya card that's so annoying well we died again in the same thing my god man so that's dying three times <laughs> on this in the same place in the same fight oh that's such a frustrating one because if I had my item that would allow me to refill my energy that we used earlier that would have been fine because we would have been able to get multiple cards out in the field and survive just need to pull um, better cards in this situation you know just need to pull better cards Not that. And now I'm pulling bad cards here as well. Where is my sentry when I need it? You know what I mean? Where is my sentry? Kill my Sonya. That's rude. I don't want to have to kill my Sonya. Got the other Grizz. Come on. Two grizzes. After a card breaking the situation was dealt damage, swap its power and health. Oh yeah. Remember that. We haven't pulled swap bot like ever. At all. Two 
That's all right, because we have won the match, so we're okay. We have won the match. Well played. And do not worry about the grizzes. And I still have my items. I didn't have to use them. Okay. Now let's go back to... This other fight. So at the very least, we only have to do one match. We can get our stuff back. And then we've got all of our items to try this again. Can we get past this wall? Let's see. Oh, nice. It finally played Sonya on a, on a space that it will serve me well. Okay, that works out better for me this time. Still don't have Sentry Drone though. Okay, there you go. Nice. Next turn, I guess. All right, let's get you out of here. And then next turn, I'll be able to deal with Sonya, so we'll suffer two damage. Oh, the Explodey Bot. Okay. Um. <sighs> That's a shame that I can't pull the Lonely Wiz Bot with its clinging thing away from the Exploder Bot because it's transformed. Maybe next turn I can. So not all hope is lost here. Right, um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put down the sniper bot that doesn't have the protection one. And I'm going to use it to kill Sonya. Oh, I'm almost tempted to use my refill to get my other sniper bot so we can just do that. And I'll hide it behind the tree. Oh, well, that's the one that's going to survive an attack. And I don't think this one has the hedgehog ones. I should have put that sniper down there. Whatever, mate. Whatever. Okay, you attack. Kill that one. Do that. Tip the scales. It begins. Okay. We can now use the sniper bot to kill the bot and Sonya, so that's good. Oh, and now Sentry Drone comes in. Now it comes in. That's annoying. At this point, that's just an inconvenience, and I totally have put the sniper bots on the wrong sides. But that's okay. It's flying, isn't it? Okay, that's... It's annoying. There's so much pressure in, on my mind right now, so I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm thinking long and hard. I kind of want to do this to get a card in my hand. We just don't know what card that'll be. So if Sniper kills that, it'll kill that. And then another sniper just does one damage. You'll come in to fly, which is really annoying. Which means I need to put sentry drone here for that, but I can't because of the explodey bot. We'll blow it up. That's such an unfortunate predicament. And shield bot isn't gonna matter. Because it will survive. 
It's going to do two damage anyway. Alright, let's see what we can do here. And then we can at least do two damage. You come in. You attack. You should take... You don't take damage because you only do the surviving one first. That's annoying. Goddamn Grizz comes in next. survived that attack. Probably shouldn't have killed that tree. Okay, double gunner, that's nice. There's a there's a potential win here. I think if I put because this is going to do one two then I can do three five I, okay I've, I have one I have one if I do that because this is one two three four five damage just all on one square and I don't have to worry about the other ones God, there was just so much pressure on my mind there, so I, I took my time. Oh my- Oh, we were just one away from a goddamn waypoint this whole time! Ooh, and it's Leshy's cabin. You know, items are replenished. And those bots back there are permanently offline. Nice. Okay, so we're in uh, foul backwater. Oh, it's the same setup. So Leshy's down here, Grimora's here, Magnificus is over here, but then this is PO3's place. I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on there. Okay. So this is our first boss. Eerie. The, this Uber bot just sits here in perfect darkness. Oh yeah, the Uber bots. I gotta say, I think so far this has probably been the, the maybe the hardest, most challenging part of the of the game. Um, we've had a lot of silly deaths. If it flows and you have a good match, like it's you you see how good it can go. But then there are other ones where it's all really like dependent on what we've drawn, um, and we keep hitting that wall of that same fight over and over. This Uberbot just sits here in perfect darkness. Is it waiting for challenges? Maybe it's letting its photos develop. Oh my god. All right. The next boss is pretty cool. You actually need to think about your plays. Oh, okay. Whole new mechanic. Okay. Where were those files? Unpacking photographer.zip. The lens is my instrument. You as well are my instrument. You will aim and I will capture. They turned Leshy into a camera. Oh, that's cool. The, the cards are, are reminiscent of how it used to be. Great. Okay, well, I have no idea. You're not playing a card yet. Um, I'm going to... I can't do anything yet, so I'm going to wait. No! Okay, this is my friend. You will aim them. You will produce a photograph. Or you may decide not to. That is your choice. Whoa, what? Well, I mean, I've got no photograph. No photograph in memory. Oh, I've got, there's no photos in the field. You, look at that. How awesome is that? My friend will remember that photograph. My friend will allow you to use that photograph. To what end, you will see. 
to use when, you will see. I can, like, clear the board then? Would it just, like, make the board whatever the photo was? Instant death sentry cards. Goddamn shutterbugs. I've got a plan. But I have to put something down, otherwise I take five damage. <laughs> um... Wild, okay. Well, I'm about to take four damage straight up. I can reduce that to three damage if I already replenish, but that feels like a waste. I'm going to do bombs next turn when everything moves in. That was my plan. So now I can, what, use the photographs from memory? Wow, okay. Yeah. So instead of doing my bomb plan, we just wiped the whole field. That's crazy. Okay. Guess I'll put my sniper bot down, I suppose. Is he going to do that every turn? Just like waves of shutterbugs? Oh, no? Okay. Oh, and now we can take a photo or not. So I could potentially wipe the field again. Interesting. I can't remember what Sonya transforms into. Oh, we're slowly tipping the scales back. Um, so now it's asking us if we want to use it. Um, I mean, nothing... My my interest about this is because the photo also captures what looks to be right at the very top. Does it also... Would it put Bolt Hound back up there? No, it just clears the field instantly. Okay. Good boss. Remind me of Leshy Fish. Good boss. Okay. God, if only I had a sentry drone for this goddamn thing. Okay. gonna go right over the head anyway but I'll be able to kill it next turn scales are tipping ah uh, no <laughs> Flying a me bot, nice. I win now. I win now. My grizzly attacks. That photo thing was wild. Okay. 
So we managed to play it just right on the brink of death. <laughs> on the brink of death. Oh, I meant to use the... Um... That's fine. You have dealt me a blow. I meant to use the hammer to get rid of the gift bot, but I accidentally pressed the bell. That's a shame. You have dealt me a blow. You will have... You have dealt me a blow. Recalibrating personality matrix. Oh no. Uh, uh, sure? I mean, I, I guess bringing in trees could be nice, I guess, maybe? Uh, we've got a Grizz. And another Grizz. Um... Ooh! Bomb Latcher! When a card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the detonator sigil. Okay. That's useful. Because I can choose my own card and detonate the Grizz, but that will also destroy my cards. All right. God damn it. God damn bad fish. That's the worst. Why do I, why? All right. Um. Hmm. Well, that's not going to attack next turn. Oh, I can use this now. This is interesting because this will bring the trees back, but it will get rid of that Grizz. And all of my cards are still the same. Oh, actually, it'll... Oh, it'll remove my... Interesting. It'll remove my Wizbot. And put Giftbot back there again. Let's do it. Let's do that. This is not a bad idea. Not the worst idea to get rid of that Grizz. And then it just... Oh god, okay, hold on. What's going on there? Yes. I will do that. This photo mechanic is wonderful. Uh, where's my double gunner at, you know what I mean? Alright, so a Shutterbug's coming in. The good thing is, is... Both of these will not apply. Well, that one will. But it won't be able to sentry me. Alright. The Grizz is dying next turn. I need my double gunner. Shield Latcher. These are new. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the nano armor sigil. I actually think... Well, the, the scales are in the middle at the moment, right? I think I win, don't I? Because my Amiibot and Grizz will do five and my Sniper Bot will do one. I think we actually... I think we win this anyway. I'm just doing a bunch of extra stuff at this point. Do we win? I think we win. Yes. <laughs> I won. Did so much prep work. Just to be like, wait a minute, I win. <laughs> Uber bot defeated. One. <laughs> One of. Nice. Money. Money. And what is this? 
Remember your side deck? That useless thing with all the empty vessels. It's about to get less useless. Okay. Oh god, all my vessels. Oh, cool. Your pick will be installed on every empty vessel card. Blocking flying, cool. Surviving once. Spiky damage. Um, ugh. They have two defense, right? So they could do spiky damage twice depending on the attack of the card. If it's a one attack monster, that would be good. Blocking flying would be nice for qu there's quite a few times where I'm like unable to do anything about a flyer. And there's quite a few flying ones in this. It's either it's a toss up between being able to do damage or blocking flying. Oh, I think what's good about it is this will incentivize me to draw from my empty vessel deck during matches a bit more because we can actually have something be there and block and do a little bit of damage. I'm picking that one. Interesting. I'm not sure that was right, but they all have sharp quills now. I'm doing it. Nice, and it's doing zeros and ones. We did it. We defeated our first boss oh god memory card is full oh we're going to the camera again <laughs> okay we're back to the cam works um new memory card installed you can see that i have struggled uh, a little bit in this portion of the game with my deck against some certain bosses and made some silly little mistakes i, I have like a decent handle on some things, but, you know, brain farts a lot. Got a lot of brain farts. So, here he vanished for two weeks here. All right, let's 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 check it out. Well, hello there, card gamers. Um, looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. What do you guys see this? You know what that is? You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like, it's a nice part of town, you know? And uh, she would have thrown them away if I hadn't come by. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Two weeks later, dude. Two weeks later. <laughs> this is the interesting dilemma, Zach. Like, okay, it took him two weeks. Haunted pack of cards is what I'm uh, expecting here. Mrs. Hobbs? Hi, my name is Luke. Well, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um, listen, I was at your garage sale the other day and I... No, no, everything's fine, thank you. Um, I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me, those... Yes. Yes, those ones. Inscription, yes. They were your daughters? Would it be possible for me to speak with her? She passed, isn't she? Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still terrible. Oh, it's nothing really. I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. That's a lovely name. 
No! Wait, what? She died in the game, dude. Oh, no. Her inscription? I mean, she works for Game Funa? Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Okay, yeah. Um, do you think it'd be alright if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Alright, have a good dinner. Bye. Casey was one of the... Dude, Casey was one of the uh, skeletons, the undead in Grimoire's little area. Oh, God. With the defibrillator one, I think. Oh, shit. Okay. These articles mention death or injury. Oh, my God. No one was killed at the facility, though tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire-related complications. Fuck. She was working late at the facility, performing quality assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fumina. Oh, this is weird. The camera's got a mind of its own. It's infected. There's some paranormal activity crap right now. Ah! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Mans is haunted. Is this guy about to get, like, sucked into the game or something? How did Casey... So Casey dies and then what? Gets put into the game? Someone is here. God, I hate this. Fuck this. My phone's in the other room, so if I die before I can call 911, I use this tape as evidence. Oh, I hate this. Oh, why is it? It stopped. Oh my god, no. Oh! Hang on. How's our pause game? Uh, Myco log one to perhaps blood letterbox? Oh man, there's a bunch of just random words and letters there. But there's some stuff that you can make out. Okay. Okay. I knew there would be something eventually in one of these error ones. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, okay. Mans is playing inscription with the scales. Oh god. Okay. I love the cam work sections. They're such a head fuck. What a trip. Okay. We're back in. Um I guess he's still playing this game. Oh, this is so weird. All right. After that, I'm going to take a small break and then we are going to get right back into this and see if we can find a second boss somewhere. All right. Let's get back into the mess, shall we? We've waypointed. We can now head back to the center after defeating our first boss. Lovely. And then I guess, oh, which direction should we head? I guess we could go south from here. We could try and replicate our our whole th Oh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, that's the graves. Um Should we try it? Should we just go and do it in the same order? Did we do Magnificus last or PO3 last? I think we did PO3 last in the previous section. Let's go let's go south for, for Grimora. Let's head this way. Ugh. The dank scrapyard is pretty unpleasant. Its inhabitants' grasping claws seek fresh bots. Watch your ankles. Cool. Alright, well, going that way. Let us fight. Let's see how we go. 
Oh, we've got a shield latcher, and we've got a leap bot. We got dead trees. Okay. Well, all I've got for now is uh, an empty vessel. But my empty vessels now do spike damage, so I guess we'll see what happens when this dies. I assume it'll give the shield to the leap bot. Yep. Okay, now we get to see the nano armor in action, I suppose. And it just is, yeah, it's just the armored one, like I thought it would be. Okay. Alright. And it makes our empty vessels more viable to stay on the field now. Ooh, the leap bot's gonna survive the explode. The leap bot will survive. Um... Let's see how this goes, shall we? Oh, hang on a minute. What? Oh, I was expecting the sigil to disappear. The sigil didn't disappear, though? What's going on there? Oh, this is great. We're going to be able to kill the double gunner immediately with the with the sentry amoebot. That was, that was a good pull. But I might just do it with the sentry drone anyway, because it is cheaper. And that way I can also throw my sniper bot down. Okay. Well, this is going to give a shield to the leap bot again, isn't it? Alright, here's my plan. My plan is, if I put the exploder bot here... Next turn, Leapbot will attack it, it'll blow up, it'll kill this dead tree, and it'll kill this, and it'll kill the sentry drone, but the sentry drone will already do its work because it'll kill the double gunner as soon as it comes in. That is the plan. This shield latcher has no health, so I'm just gonna leave, I might just leave that be. Therefore, it can't shield latch anymore. Goodbye, double gunner. You tried. There we go. Okay. That was my plan. And it worked. It worked flawlessly. All right. Um, we are going to gift bot. And then we are going to kill gift bot. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. Time to start flipping the scales down. Okay. Um, and we win. So that's fine. Bop, bop, bop. We win. Give me the dollar, please. Lovely. Bounty star. New card awaits. Let's have a look. Insector drone, flying, bomb latcher, or exoskeleton. After attacking, a card bearing the sigil perishes. So, two and two is pretty good, but the perishing thing. Ugh! Ugh! Terrible. Um, we gotta figure out. We gotta give, the, give this card another sigil that will, like, make this better. I'm gonna grab it. I can fix him. Another match already, okay. 
Oh no. Okay, so we've got two sentry drones and two exoskeletons, so they will both die upon attacking. So they just need to survive. Goddamn sentry drones. Okay. The good news is, as long as I just don't place cards here, they're useless. So that is fine. Um, so we're going to do... Oh, this is an annoying. Well, I can only protect against one of them, so... We will protect against one. Uh, that means I have to suffer damage. I will have to suffer damage. Okay. Um... Put down gift bot and then sentry drone will activate automatically. But gift bot will survive anyway. Well, I can't summon anything else, so I guess we'll just. It's fine. I was gonna destroy it anyway. Okay, shield bot. Oh. Hobbs crash! That scalpy always fetched me a pretty penny last time, but Hobbs Crash is always up for a rematch. Hobbs Crash, I have another sentry situation, because of course. Alright, buddy. You know what this means. It means we are going to protect against it. Or... 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 I might put Fishbot in, and then... See how this goes. I'll suffer one damage. Alright, now Hobbs Crash will die because of the death. On account of the death, you know. Um, Sniper Bot can take out Insect, and I can hide it behind the tree. And then Double Gun is getting close to coming in, baby. That does work. That does work. Goodbye, Hobbs. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't seen the last of Hobbs crash. And then, bop. Oh, shit. We got the skeletons coming in. Skeletons are coming in. Um, well, that would be a waste of a sentry drone, wouldn't it? So... Fishbot's gonna die, and that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna waste that. So we're gonna do this just to protect, and then Double Gun is coming in next turn for sure. Nice. Bad fish. God, I fucking... The bad fish, man. Terrible. Okay. Double gunner. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Ah. Double gunner goes going to go there. And... Oh. And that's a win. Double gunner for the win. Hello? This is Casey, right? This was- was this the Casey one? I think this was Casey, right? You used to pass this ice. Well, I suppose I could c c clear it. A little bit of heat should do the trick. <laughs> is that Casey? 
Apparently there was a fire related incident when he was looking it up on the computer, but I'm pretty sure Casey was the one with the block of ice in the head. Oh, I see. It cleared that thing out of the way before. Ready to trade? Um. Hmm. Well, we've already got these, don't we, now? Or it can transform into them, so we don't actually own them in our deck. I think one double gunner is enough to get us the win usually. So having another one is just another chance of drawing a card that we can't use until later into the game. But a bomb latcher, now that has potential. Because then we can just put a bomb on uh, one of our own to cancel something out. We're gonna get the bomb latcher. Choose a card to give me. I love how these ones ask to be chosen. It's so silly. Um, I'm gonna give you Two gift bots. We have two shield bots. I think I might give one of my um, one of these away. These are good cards, but I need stuff that I can actually play at lower cost and plus having like three transforming cards is, is a lot I'm gonna get rid of Sonya trust the process four robo bucks for one of these pick one okay um this is what I was talking about Okay, now we can make the exoskeleton better, right? We can make the exoskeleton more valuable. If we give it armored, I don't think that would work, would it? Because it's not the fact that it's taking damage. Because it just perishes. I think something that's really annoying about the sigils in this part is the sigils don't all come into play at the same time like how they do in that first part of the game where you can just have cards with multiple abilities in this version they tend to activate one at a time like for example this sniper bot uh no there's another one hang on a better example this shield bot when it takes damage this comes into play first and it doesn't do the the, the quill spikes until next time you know what I mean? So I think what I want to do is we could have Exoskeleton die and give us a card. That would be a nice one. So we throw it, it does damage, and it at least gives us a card out of it so we can get rid of one of our gift bots. Uh, if we did have a second double gunner, that would actually be that would have actually been really nice thinking about that because we would have been able to have that come into play let's do the gift bot though because we don't have a second double gunner and we don't know if it would actually come into play all right i just remembered i, I just remembered that um it's not the card sacrifice we can't apply other card sigils to the thing uh it's a choice isn't it i'm getting mixed up with um the beginning of the game's abilities and things but that worked out better didn't it because that's what we want breaking the bone it dies but then it comes back that's what we want that's ideal you'll have to forgive my tiny little pea brain 
getting uh, the first part of the game's things mixed up with this part of the game sometimes. I was about to g try and give it a, an ability of one of my uh, one of my cards. Okay, bomb latcher, which is going to go straight to that one, which will then blow up one of the bridges. Um, but I can sentry drone for this, so we'll do that. Because then the bomb will come in, it'll attack, this will damage it back, and it'll blow both of these up, and then the bomb can only attach to one of my cards, if that's even possible, or maybe one of the bridge rails or something. Yep, yeah, it applies to the bridge rail now. Okay, we've wiped all that out. Okay, another bomb latcher. Flying one will go right, right over the top. Taking damage regardless here. Um, okay, we're going to do this because the sniper bot can survive the bomb latch's attack. Double gunner is something that we do not want. We do not want that. Oh, and double gunner won't attack the bot if I put it there. But if I put it... Hmm, frustrating. Okay. Frustrating indeed. Uh, there's a plan here. When it perishes... I can choose a card to gain the detonator sigil. This dies. Um, okay, I know what we can do. That's okay. I know what we can do here. We're going to put the exploder bot here. This can now only latch a bomb onto the other railing. Double gun is here. Double gun is now dead because of my exploding boy. Now Grizz can come into play as well as Quill. Play you. All right, it begins. Okay. Another bomb latcher. Bruce is gonna go there, so it does four damage next turn. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. And now we win. Bah! Ding dong. 
get out of here. Give me the cash. Lovely. Waypoint. Where are we? Any items are back online. Bot spawn is offline. Okay, we are now in the filthy corpse world. Okay. Um, is this our boss fight then? What a depressing abode. You have to be here to defeat the resident uberbot, but I don't think you'll want to stay long. What's this? This is a cool one. I'll overclock one of your cards, give it an attack buff. But if it die, If it dies, it's gone forever. What? Hey, hey. Okay. An attack buff, but then if it dies, it's out. So I really should give this to a card that is not likely to die. So don't give it to Exoskeleton or Explode Bot. <laughs> So something that has more of a chance to survive, like the Grizz. So the Grizz can come in and be even stronger. Double Gun is weak, as tempting as it would be. I think we need to be smart about that, because I would prefer not to lose a card forever. I'm going to give it to the Grizz. Nice. Um, so what's cool about this, then, is that it at least gives it a plus one, so it can at least do some damage on its on that turn and then it'll transform into plus four nice done don't let it die cool so we'll be able to do damage on both of its turns all right there's a fight here there's a fight there When a card bearing the sigil perishes, I only choose the creature to gain the brittle sigil. So I could give it to an enemy card. Or another gift bot. Let's... Honestly, I think having multiple gift bots is not bad, because it's a good defense, and then we get free cards. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a third gift bot. I'll give you a card. You give me one. It's easy. All right, let's see. Do I want another double gunner? Or do we want the shield? The shield latcher, I think, would be quite nice for us. So we're going to get the shield latcher. Uh, pick the one you hate. Um, well, now that we've got one that we can give a shield to so it can survive... Um, The Amiibot we don't really use, but I think that's only because we haven't really had the chance. You know what, personally, I'm just gonna say fuck it, I'm just I'm just gonna give the gift bot away. <laughs> Cause I have three of them then, and I'm now I'm just like, eh. If I'm gonna give one card away, it better be the one that I've got like a triple of, you know? Halt. We require a commitment to pass. You must agree to grant access to the archivist. Oh god. Do you agree to grant access? It is important. You must sign this contract. Oh. You cannot sign this contract. You do not have a writing utensil. Oh. Oh. It's like when you, when you have to grant cookies for every website that you go on ever. Okay, so there must be a writing utensil behind one of these fights. Alright. Oh god. Okay. Two sentry drones, another two exoskeletons. Okay, well... All I can do here is... Protect and hope for the best. So we'll protect again. Okay, now two sentry drones that we have to be careful about. Uh, at least at this point, we've got the exoskeleton that can die and come back in our hand, which is exciting. 
So if we put it down, it'll take one damage on the sentry bot. But then it can come back to our hand. So I could play this. It dies. Play that to refill my energy. Play it again. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, but we'll try and save on save this for the boss fight with the archivist. It's called. That's interesting. Lovely. Hobbs crash. The only bounty hunter ever that's been hunting us. Very persistent. We've had a one or two other ones, but Hobbs crash keeps appearing. Thought you'd seen the last of Hobbs crash, did you? Think again. God damn it, Hobbs. You pain in my ass. Stimulation. Okay, well. Well, we know what that means. It means we are doing explodies. Explodies. I'll be taking that scalp another day. You ain't seen the last of Hobbs Crash. <laughs> All right. Okay. And now. And now. Should probably just get rid of it, shouldn't I? I should probably get rid of it. And I win. Lovely. All right. It's locked. What is going on here? Unbelievable. What is this? All right. Fine. We'll go to the other one then. Hi. Okay. The whole shield thing again. Bomb latcher. All right. Well. <laughs> so much to see. But now, uh, but now it will survive, won't it? Because of course it will. There we go. Nice. But because it, it did damage to it, that worked. What is this? Oh, that's just showing what my thingies has. Cool. Nice. That's cool. Okay. So... It's overcharged, so now it's going to do two damage. Um, what we'll do is we'll do this. I'm feeling stimulated, and then we're going to do this to protect. Oh, the clingy. The clingy. Oh, well, I have messed that up. That's not what we wanted at all. Um, okay. Double gun is gonna be a problem. Alright, to do this, 
We have to think about this accordingly. We have to be smart, which means I am going to have to actually cash this in in order to survive that double gunner's attack. Um... Sniper bot can kill this one. Then we'll do two damage. And shield bot will be able to protect against one of double gunner's hits. And then double gunner will die next turn to the sniper. So I've got to use that. So we can do that. And then shield latcher will not be able to put a shield on anything. Except put a shield on my shield bot. Ah, it has to put it on mine. Lovely. Okay. Good. Good. Swap bot. Okay, nice. Nice. And we win. We win. We win. Wonderful. Yes. Did have to use one of my items, but that's okay. Aha. And more stuff. Yes. Is that the quill? All right, we got the quill. So we've got our writing utensil. And now we can sign the contract. You have brought a fine quill. Please sign here that you agree to give access. Thank you. Do not forget your agreement. Okay. Next boss battle. And we have a waypoint. Nice. And a two star wanted level. Any items back online, bot spawn is offline. Oh yeah. The waypoint is in front of the boss thing, so we get our items back. So that was great. Nice! There it is. The uberbot you sought. These idiotic librarians worship it as it sits here covered in filth and grime. Ready to clean it up? Bop. Oh look, it's boss time. Unpacking archivist.zip. Applying personality matrices. Cleaning up some temp files? Okay, here we go. Ah, greetings. Uh, if you had not gleaned it from the title of my zip file, I am the archivist. I eagerly await the opportunity to explore your hard drive. Files and directories are my speciality, you see. Oh god, what is going on here? Alright, let's see. If it would attack, it would not. For the tombstones. Librarians, which have dead bite, when a card bearing the sigil perishes, select a file, place damage on the scales according to the file size. What? And it blocks flyers and it does one damage each. What is going on here? Okay. Maybe I'll have to bomb this whole place. Oh god, there's more librarians. Okay. I'm gonna bomb this whole field. Ready? Watch this. Fuck you. All of you. If I just do one, it'll blow up the whole field. Oh, I should have inquired sooner. You will need to grant me access to your hard drive. Would you please acquiesce? I assure you, no harm will come of it. Grant inscription.exe permission to access your hard drive. Ah, oh, if you go to pick no, it still just says yes. <laughs> oh, stupid. Here comes your actual files. I hope no one is watching. Now, 
do recommend an exemplary file to me. And do take into account its size. Its magnitude. Its, its bulk. Oh, it's going to do damage to me. Is this actually my... My computer? I think these are actually my drives. Oh, it's my drives, dude. It's actually my drives. <laughs> oh, it's actually freezing on E. This is funny. This is so funny. It's going into my hard drives. So this is my, uh, this is my, uh, okay, this is funny. This is where I put my comic books that I read. This is all of my artwork, by the way, because I, I, I draw sometimes. And this is all my photography. Um, this is funny. Okay. Look at my artwork over all of the years. Does it, I don't know if you can actually see pages, but it takes into capability, it takes into consideration the file size. So we want this to be like short as hell. This is so, this is so invasive. Um, this is so invasive. Um, what's a small little file that I've got in here? This is so funny. Ah. I'm going to give you my poop file that's 4 kilobyte. What happens? This is funny. This is- look at my history here. Okay. You can have my poop file. Oh, it goes onto your scale? I thought it was going to go onto my scale. That's why I picked the smallest one. A small file, but I do suppose respectable. A single point of damage is what it is worth. Oh! Again, do choose a file. Okay, now I get to do it again. Its file size will be paramount. Oh, okay. Um, well, now I'm worried. Is it... What if it does apply to my scales on the second time? I don't even know. Um, okay. Let's, let's, go, let's go somewhere else. Let's have a look. Let's go into the 2013 file. What else have I got in here? Um... Actually, well, if we want to do a bigger file size, what we want to actually do is we want to go into we want to go into my recordings, right? And we want to go into the the games that we've got at the moment that we're going in OBS. Um, this is the current recording. The current recording of Inscription is uh, twenty one gigabyte. What if this does damage to me? I don't even know. I think Jedi Survivor might be the biggest ones. Twenty two gigabyte. This one's huge. 22 gigabyte file of Jedi Survivor. My word. <laughs> this file, it is, I may say it is colossal. Bravo. Oh my God. Look at this bomb play right now. This is hilarious. All right, now go along and select a file. Recall that it's vastness is your object. Okay, so it does only apply to their scales. We, we played it safe with the, the small one. Um, all right, let's throw another one. Let's throw them an inscription file. Um, episode eight's 12 gig. Hiya! Magnificent, it is gargantuan. <laughs> that was round one. Please select a file. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart. And one that shows age. Oh, it wants us to... Okay, something that's dear to our heart and shows age. Okay, well, if we want to do that, we have to go old. We've got to go back into my artwork again. What's my largest file that I reckon I've got in my... Um, in my art folder? Um... I don't know what any of these are named. So this is the hilarious part of like going back through my artwork history. Um, back when I did commission work. That's funny. Just leaked a bunch of people's names. Um, this is funny. Don't read any of these names. I don't know what to name my drawings, guys. <laughs> I love that it's like, um, 
Uh, draw a pussy monster, okay? Get it out of your heads. I I love that I'm being totally exposed. Alright, the age matters, so we should go back real far. Let's do a let's do a personal one. I don't know if we can get a massive file size out of my artwork, but I can try. Oh, it says that it was created 25th. Oh, it said that it was created 25th of April. So the file sizes aren't even that old because I recently moved over all of my stuff onto a new hard drive to back it up again. So actually all of this is really recent. Um, so nothing on this folder is actually going to be old because I only moved it all to a new hard drive last month. Now let us place that file in a card. We're using an audio file. You didn't choose a file that was too dear, did you? For if this card dies, I would delete this file from your disc? Please do not tempt me, I am completely serious. Shall we see what this looks like? I suppose this file does show some age. 2-2. Two, two. Okay. I picked from my uh, I, I picked from my audio files um, where I have a bunch of sound effects saved that I've used in edits. This is that guy that goes nice. <laughs> Hostage file. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, the file used to create it is really deleted from your hard drive. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't pick something that's uh, too dear to the heart then. This has been a very... Uh, interesting uh, experience today. Good fish. Okay, we've got two exoskeletons, which means exoskeleton will come in and literally kill this card. There was part of me that was like, I wonder if like, you would, if it was an image, if you'd see the image or if it was an audio or a video, like it, there'd be like, it would do something. I don't know the extent of it. It's very strange. Um, okay. Very weird. Uh, we are going to do... Uh, Exoskeleton would not be a good idea because it's going to die and I need it to defend against this thing. So we are going to do this to protect. God, this is so weird. I guess we could use the nano armor thing for my, uh, click nice 3 mp3. What the fuck? This is so weird. Okay. Alright, well... Uh, well, I mean, it's gonna pick a card for a brittle thing and it'll be one of mine. Uh, okay. Let's do Exoskeleton. And then... I'm gonna put Nice over here too. <laughs> to our damage. Okay. Oh god. Don't delete my mp3 file. That's right. I think we've just we've just won anyway, so that's that's okay. But god damn. <laughs> oh, okay. We've won, but at what cost? This was uh this was a bizarre um this was a bizarre experience. <laughs> the accessing of my hard drive is unbelievable. I thought I had you. Oh well. You've made a few correct deck building decisions, I guess. Mm, some. And you're lucky, very. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, we've done two Uberbots. Sheesh. Now we can head back to the shop in the center. Oh my god. Okay. Empty vessel time. Does it gain an another ability or does it replace it? Oh. Oh, the bonus energy though? The bonus energy. Does it replace or add on to the thing? I'm not sure. 
We're not getting booted out to the camcorder again. So we've defeated in the dank crypt and the foul backwater. And now we'll be heading over the other side next time. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Inscription. Uh, where we got our own hard drive, hard drives accessed and you got a little sneak peek into my own goddamn computer, which is really weird. Um, and then using your own files in the fight, I think is genius. It's that's hilarious. Picking like giant file sizes. I just, I throw my YouTube recordings at you to win. Um, hilarious. Um, I can't wait to continue over the other side of this map next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, there were obviously some pretty glaring facepalm misplays here, but uh, we persevere and we do win and we do make some acceptable decisions here sometimes. Uh, I will see you next time for the rest of this uh, glorious map.